So around uh, when the uh, Black Friday like specials happen, I, as a uh, person that uh, you know dabbles in the spirit world, as you do, right? Not the like etheric spirit world, no, the actual kind of like spirit beverage world. spirit world. Yes. Uh, I always look to see if anybody happens to have like uh, some sort of like oh, do they have any deals on shipping or because shipping in the alcohol world can be a little expensive. That's where shipping the, yeah. liquids. That's kind of where they get you a little. The not on whammy. Purpose. Yeah, that's not. Where, yeah, no whammies. Stop, and I hit on the rye whiskey and the daily double and a yacht trip. Nice. Wow. Whammy's no whammy stop. Okay. Uh, but no, you try and like try and avoid that as like the biggest thing you can do. And thankfully, uh, this uh, whiskey purveyor that I had been interested in, they had a deal such as that. I believe it was free shipping or it was flat rate shipping. I can't remember 100%. I was still happy with it no matter which it was. Uh, and I'm very excited that we've got a rye whiskey. So let's give it a shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today is the Fry Ranch Straight Rye Whiskey. Yes. Okay. Are you okay? I'm good. That's right. Yeah, that was an easy one. I don't yeah. know if they're associated with uh, the uh, Eagles guitarist and singer at all. It's the Glen Fry anyone? Ranch? It does not say anything oh, about okay. that. I almost right. thought about looking it up. I didn't. So if there are any ties to that and you want to mention it down here in the comments on YouTube, you're more than welcome to do so. Or on Twitch if you're in chat. Go ahead and do that as well. Um, I'm very interested in this. I think this is super cool. This is one of those things that like, I hope lives up to what's in my head. Uh, so Fry Ranch Distillery, they literally do everything. Everything is done there. They distill it there. Uh, they do the bottling. They do, like I said, they grow the, like it's literally farm to table whiskey. Like I don't think there's any other That's better way cool. to put it. Uh, this is a uh, hundred proof uh, winter rye, sustainable winter rye. This is what they keep growing on the farm. Okay. I hope this is delicious. Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, it has, there's a lot of good things behind it yes and let's hope what's in the bottle then uh equals that so i good. agree what would you pay for such a thing or do you want to talk about it at the end i think we should talk about that at the end thank god i'm glad I, that's what I you think said. you may have mentioned did no, i maybe you i didn't. did because i did i i have a number in my head we'll see if it matches up okay. with what uh you know what i think i did mention it because i thought it was something slightly lower and it was slightly higher okay do you remember that now i don't okay we'll keep it a secret from all okay. of you though so i might be go. getting the cost confused with the uh Alcohol percentage. Oh, okay. It, it's it's not that. Okay, good. Then that's maybe what I was thinking. Okay. So anyway, shipping on this, like I said, you can order right from the distillery. Uh, cool looking bottle, I think. It yeah. is super heavy. I think this bottle is like a good couple pounds. Okay. It's which is not. It's sturdy. It's sturdy, like the people that work at Fry Ranch. <laughs> wow. I'm making an assumption there. Fry Ranch, <laughs> comment down below if you want to tell me if that's true or not. Nice color on the darker side, kind of yeah. a little amber. Yeah, brown, brown, orange, amber going yeah. on there. Yep. All right. We won't work on color too much because what really matters is. Well, unfortunately, due to my current state. Yeah. I don't really get much of anything. Okay. And your current state is you just don't like whiskey or no. do you want to like, because <laughs> no, if, people, if people have just seen this, they don't know what your current my state is. My current state is that I have You're uh, recovering. been, but my, yes, my, well, my. Uh, olfactory senses have been affected by COVID. So I okay. completely lost my sense of smell, mostly lost Unless my sense it's of taste. Very high or yeah, very, very low. low. Yeah. I'm not getting really anything. I get I get heat. I get alcohol because I'm almost inhaling the liquid through my nose, probably. <laughs> Are you should I uh, got you a straw? Would yeah, that would work better? Yeah. This honestly smells really good. Um, there is definitely some spice, a little alcohol heat coming through, but there is some wonderful uh, caramel, some butterscotch, and some like almost uh, uh, maple, like oak, like vanilla kind of things, notes coming through. This smells really good. I'm very happy with this. It's not super complex. Like maybe I'm saying all those things and it sounds like there's a little, but those are all just the little things kind of hitting in and out of there. It's, yeah, that's that smells that smells really good, and there is but there is a little bit of heat though, so you get the heat, so you got that. Yeah, well, so and eventually we're gonna get to one, and I hope it's a very inexpensive one where you go, yeah, that's exactly what's in there, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're trying to get to? <laughs> trying to get to no. That eventually point. we'll get. I guess I don't want to get to one, in, especially. Let's hope, you know, let's hope not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> yes, not tonight. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, I the aroma on this is. Ex I'm very excited yes. for the taste. Can we, can we do the taste now? Too? Let's do that. Okay. That's where I get. If I get anything, that's usually where I get it. All right. Okay. <laughs> that's what she said. Yes. Well, the good thing about this is I give, I give you the very basic of foundations. I, I like it. You're kind of you're to literally, then go from. <laughs> you make me look better than I Unfortunately, really am. Unfortunately, normally which is are because you kind of hit this, and I'm like, I can build on that. Our palettes are very similar, anyways. It's, it's true. It's not. It's fun, but it's not often where we come across something where you're like, I love that. Uh, I'm like, oh god, or, or yeah. vice versa. So, um, I 
I'm getting just a little bit of, of oh, grain, but that's good because that's rye. I'm getting a little bit of grain. Let's go. And a teensy weensy bit of caramel. Yeah? Teensy. Okay. Caramel teensy? Not caramel teensy. Maybe that person works on the ranch. I'm not aware of it. Uh, caramel teensy. It's caramel teensy. I don't know why he's Italian all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know. But he could be. I don't want to speculate. All right. Uh, no, so, I agree. Uh, definitely, the, like I said, the, the rye and the spice comes through, which I would expect. And yeah, there's some wonderful caramel notes. I think the body is actually kind of nice. I did not think it would be. Uh, it's got a little viscosity to it. It's not the uh, heaviest thing we've had even recently, which we can't talk oh, about. Oh, can't talk about that. Little teaser for a Ooh, podcast. That's really feeling be a few. the heat. Yeah, I'm definitely oh getting the, the hundred proof heat is kind of hitting a little bit, but it's in, in a good way. Like it's not like right. uh, uh, the finish is is very nice. But yeah, caramel, uh, some spice. Um, it, it, it's it's really good i'm really happy with this honestly okay. this is something that makes me uh because we, we bought a couple other things like again we bought the stuff from cleveland whiskey it was okay i probably would not get those again and not that these are direct comparisons at all but they were two purchases that i made at the same time this that's one, what I, they have in common <laughs> it's about it they're both whiskeys and they were yeah that part this one is something where i'm like i would like to buy another bottle of this to have it and i would okay. probably look at some of it because they have a couple other ones they do a uh, I think they do a bourbon as well, or just a straight whiskey that I'd have to look at it. Anyway, go check out their site. We'll have the links and everything down below. Um, but no, I think this is, it's not overly complex, but the notes is hit. The notes that it hits are blended very well together. Uh, like I said, with the caramel, that rye spice, uh, like I said, the body is, is really nice. There's a little bit of, there's still a little bit of that maple kind of coming through. I got more of that in the nose. Oh, I wish I would have that. But yeah, this is, this is delicious. I like, I'm very happy with well, this. Well, and very cool too, because like I said, it's all comes from their farm yeah and they, yeah, they do everything super, so that's really neat yeah so they if it was not good they would have no one to blame but themselves but themselves that's true <laughs> there'd be no one that and now there's on. no one else to give credit to but, but them. themselves exactly right. they get all the credit exactly 100 percent. you know who also gets all the credit for our website <laughs> oh you know what you didn't we mention, do though, but you didn't mention oh what did i mention the price not the price oh the price sorry you it was a good segue i know it was but great. i want to know what this costs 60 bucks okay all right and, th and this feels like a $60 whiskey to me. Okay. Like I said, I think the quality is there. It's not one of those ones where it's like, oh, this is good. That seems like a little like they're so, overshooting. To me, this to me, this is a good price for this, and I would be happy to pay So this, this is again. the same price as the Willet. Oh, favorites. interesting. That is interesting. I no, I think Yeah, no, I think they both I think they okay. both make that they both make that price for different reasons. Okay. Uh, good. I like well, I like good. the Willet for different reasons. Like I said, I like this one for different so yeah, no, the Willet Rye family estate, the four year. That one is also top notch. Okay. Uh, and yeah, if you can find that one for about the same price, um, that would be the only thing if I had to pay shipping. Oh, more right. consistently. Right. So then that would be a little because, you know, you have to pay tax, but then this is ship. So anyway, right. a little bit of, you know, play through there. But I, I think this is totally worth this price. And if you want to, especially if you're in Nevada, you can probably maybe go to the distillery. Yeah. I don't know. Fry Ranch. Tell me, can we have tours? Are there tours? <laughs> is that a thing? I don't know. We'll give you a tour of our website at aboutbeverages.com. That's true. That's the place a place where you can find everything that we have done uh, for over a decade, like 13. Is we going on 14 2008. years? 2008. We're, yeah. we're going into our 14th year. 14th? We're in our 14th year. Yeah. We're all about to hit it. I can't remember what dad yeah. used to say, however that used to work. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so like I said, go check out our website. We've got all of our podcasts from previous years. We've got all the latest videos, uh, recipes, everything you can find there. If you only want the latest uh, videos, uh, definitely YouTube has got you covered there. Hit the subscribe button. You will be given a little alert ding, whenever we put new content up there, which is usually a couple times a week, whether it's this full archive podcast or uh, some of the smaller podcasts that we edit out from our live show. Uh, and uh, if you only want audio, that works for us too. Google uh, Podcasts, Spotify, iTunes, any one of those uh, is uh, you can find us. You can hit the subscribe button there. Or if you have a favorite podcast app, the search for about beverages, you will probably find us there. Chances are. Chances we'll be are there. As well as if you're lurking in the social media realm, there's some places you can look the, to. Well, right? you can uh, find us hiding behind one of the three pillars or maybe standing in front of one of the three pillars. I think pillars. we're in front of it. I okay. feel we're in front of it at this point. All right. And uh, we are on, can be found on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, which is the one that we use most of all to keep uh, everybody up to date on what's going on at About Beverages. Like uh, earlier this evening when I tweeted that we were about to go live on twitch.tv slash About Beverages, which we do most Thursday evenings. Although that does vary sometimes. Maybe we should switch to Wednesdays. Wednesday's it's been popping a tonight. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a you. lot going on. Yeah, but uh, uh, but yeah, and then Andrew keeps you up to date on what he's doing uh, throughout the week when he's uh, oh venturing into the gaming world. 
It's true. Which is also still the beverage world as well. Both it's of those both. things, they, they interact. So B and G. We will keep you up to date uh, through Twitter. Mm-mm. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>